What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the Travis channel. Ollie here. We have unpacked Forza Motorsport for the first time, and we're going to hop in together. Very exciting. As this video goes on, more announcements, and we're just playing it for the first time together. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. It's very, very exciting. Hopefully, it works on triples. It needs to work on triples. That's a big thing for me. Uh, worst case scenario, you got it on one, and I'm sure they'll add it later. What's happened? Sorry, but it looks like you may be unable to launch this game due to the following. Please update your graphics driver. Ignore warning. Holy sh It works on triples, I can tell you that much. It looks a bit squished. <laughs> Is it? Okay. And it's not quite at the edge over there. That's okay. It's early morning. Attempting to sign in. Contacting okay. the Xbox network. Well, that's unnecessary. Contacting okay, why is, it, why is it? Why is it? Why is it? Why is it yelling at me? Your profile. Yeah. Okay. I don't need. Ah! Why is it yelling at me? And why does it look like it's made out of 1982? For I don't need to hear. Oh God. <laughs> um, it's just stretched it. <laughs> what? Ah! Let's see if that does something. Sure, I didn't make a freaking difference. Why is my Forza Motorsport squished? Right, let's try that. Let's just try it. Apply it. Oh, that looks good. That looks fixed. That looks good. okay. I didn't realize you could scroll. <laughs> oh, that's good. We fixed it. We're good. <laughs> Shush you. Shush you. I panicked. I panicked. Let's freaking go play. Yeah, boys. Oh, here we go. Here we go. I don't know if I've seen this or not. Probably not. I don't actually know. I, don't, I have no idea. All right. We gather. Oh, let's skip this. <laughs> We're not going to. We're just going to watch this together. We've had the problems. It's, fi it's fine. United by passion. Well, most Formula 1 fans are not, but whatever. That's an old Ferrari. Is that... Is that Nicky Lauda's car? Project 1. Is that a... Is that anyone knows sure? The... What is this one? I don't even think that's a GT3. Celebrate. Okay, on you, lad. On ya. Here we go. Forza Motorsport. It looks okay. Frame rate could be better, but obviously just change the, the frames. And obviously, yeah, we could update the graphics drivers on the PC as well, which is absolutely fine. I'm absolutely fine with doing that. I'm very excited to be here in Forza. What angle? What In terms of camera angle, what do we do? We'll find out. Stick around. So... We'll do lots of testing uh, on the first day here. Just this is a video, early morning video. And then we'll be live later today again, hopefully. I'll talk more about that later on. Are these GTP cars? Here we are. So it, the way that I pictured my triple screens to work appears to be working. Uh, which is very cool, I believe. These ones are kind of waiting. They're just kind of chilling. Um, Maple Valley, United States. So I assume our triples are about to come working, right? Worst case scenario, we have to set the, the aspect ratio to something different. So surely... Okay, I don't know. Okay, one second. All right, racing here. I don't know what's going on. Oh, hold oh, on. Okay. No, it's really not. I reckon you want to take a wide line in and then try and have an arrow. Okay, this game. This, I need to change the angle. Hold on, how do I change? Mate, I play iRace and I'm an expert. Okay, hold on. I'm trying to change the camera angle. 
That look back, look backwards. That's. I need. Okay, hold up. <laughs> do, I, do I change camera angle in here? Driving assist, accessibility gamepad, audio, basic video. Uh, don't know. I don't really want driving line. Um, and which button is going to change my angle? Just try them all. Yeah, that's what I want to do. Hold up. So what is it? Tab. See, that looks like an ideal camera angle, actually. Yeah, that looks good to me. All right. Let's go. I bet you'll get more rotation in third. I'm not. I already tell that this game is absolutely fantastic. <laughs> Genuinely, I can already feel that the driving with the wheel is a little bit on... It's understeery, this car. I can tell you that much. Take a narrower line just because I can. I want to get rid of that driving line. Definitely makes it feel more like an arcade. Come on, lads. Move. Oh, sorry, lad. So the AI already feel a bit dumb. I was watching Rory Alexander last night. Again, I watch him every single day. Um, have a lunge. Space was actually given there, which is interesting. So this game will be playing differently. Force feedback feels really good, really strong. The way I personally like it is strong. Just trying to run over there. Brake, brake, brake. Hold the brake. Hold the brake. Grass feels a bit silly. Okay. I was just testing out the grass. We did not do very well. <laughs> oh no. I'm not sure if I'm cut out for this. These look like LMP. It's an LMP1 or something. It's, I'm pretty sure it's a GTP. So cool, these cars. I love these cars. It already, this is going to be a fantastic game. Um, I, I was watching Rory last night. He was super duper pumped about it. So am I. The online multiplayer needs to be good. Um, but that's absolutely fine. So this is great. Now, most of my Force videos are going to not be the single player. They're going to be the multiplayer. Um, but look, that's absolutely fine for the very first attempt of playing this game. Jung, jung. Force feedback felt like there's a little... It's like, I feel like Shane Van Gisbergen. A little bit of play in the wheel in a straight line in the early phases of turning the wheel. From my understanding, that's Shane's problem. Um, but I don't, I'm obviously no expert. All right, so does this mean there's enduros? Is this, this is my question. Is is, it, is there endurance Track races? Is the Track is clear to the left, man. It definitely feels a little bit, a little bit of play in the wheel. Very understeery again. I don't know this track. I hope it's not made up because I like to know a lot of stuff. I'm sure you could change the steering angle as well. Sensation of speed's really good. Um, feels like you are driving fast, which is nice. Uh, something that generally in a lot of games you don't feel like you're going fast, which is so cool. Let me through. I have to take, overtake them off the track. What's this GT4 doing? Or GT3? Come on, lad. Get out of the way, man. I'm doing a lot more lifting coasting. I'm finding that's not helping. I'm finding... I'm finding that the rotation will be within the brake pedal. I feel. And engine braking is a massive difference. Very understeer car. See, that's interesting. So it's expecting me to turn more there, is it? I'm not entirely sure. Finish strong. Finish strong. Couldn't got blocked. See, the understeer is atrocious. And you'll get used to playing this game. 
Now, the way that cars work, at least from my understanding, is that they'll steer better under acceleration. I'm finding that's very subtle. Very subtle here. Try and get slipstream. Very, very subtle. Does feel like there's a lot of play in the wheel early stages. Try not to hit him. Try and look around the outside. Shit, I thought he was going to leave the space open. Sorry, man. Sorry. Thought he was going to leave the space. He didn't. Whoa. So that grass, you just get hooked onto it. That's weird. And that was a sausage curb, but I'm not driving very well because it does not feel like anything I've played before, but it's so good. This, this steering feels very strange. But I think it's... See? Oh. <laughs> okay. We're being very supportive. Very, very supportive. Now, this is obviously... Five days this game will be open to everyone else who didn't pre-order it. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, so far, uh, just off my first impressions of actually playing it, there's improvement, but it's a new game. You know? what? You can't expect a new game to come out absolutely perfect. That's very cool. Okay. So, just to put it into a bit of perspective, when you're in a slower car than an actual race car on a track or just anywhere, it is still super duper fast. And that's what... Well, oh, should have held gear. Um, that's what uh, Forza Motorsport is trying to put into perspective here, which I really like. So we've got these lines for track limits, I believe, which is on, which is kind of helpful, but a little bit unrealistic. We can obviously turn them off. And now I'm just testing series like, is it Gran Turismo? I'm going to leave the door open so this car can go through. Um, and we've got these mirrors, you can see there in your peripheral vision and up there. Um, so it was a problem yesterday with Rory Alexander. This game feels like it's made for triple screens because... Okay, I should have held gear, maybe. Okay, well, that's... I don't necessarily need driving line, though. That's a bit annoying. Yeah, you really feel the ABS, right? All right. So maybe the SDI would have been a slightly less understeery car. But I'm sure they're all there to behave um, very, very similar as we go into our very first race. Yep. Cool. Fuel and tyre is something I was interested in. So it's a four-lap race. This is something I saw last night. It's a four-lap race. Let's put five laps in. Just to be sure, this is what Rory was doing last night. Tyres are the exact same. Done. We should, in theory, not... <coughs> My God, I'm dying. It should, in theory, not be, um, yeah. Wait, are we starting on pole? I have no idea. Anyway, that's just what I saw Rory Alexander was doing last night. No, we're not starting on pole. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so you hear your rev. Oh, so you don't need to put it up into second. You don't need to put it into gear. My bad. Should have held gear. That's fine. Whoa. See, the AI need to be careful there. Look at what is this golf doing? What is he doing, guys? Oh my god, so sorry. They break very early and then don't get on the power. Which is something very interesting. Steering input is fixing understeer. <laughs> um, how does that make any sense? I don't know. Like, as I turn more into the car, it feels like it's minimizing some of my understeer. Which is, just got to try everything. Got to try and work out how to drive fast with one of these. With one of these cars here in Forza Motorsport. What's the fastest way? I don't know. Oh, I didn't know you were there, man. 
We're going to try and fight it. The AI breaks later and did not have the greatest of exits. So you got to be harsher on the brake pedal. I'm really trying not to hit the ABS, but I think ABS is not necessarily a bad thing. I imagine a lot of people that drive these sorts of cars in real life will be having ABS. And off track, do we get a penalty for that? No. But this is not good driving for me. I'm very new to this kind of style of sim. So I wanted to set the difficulty lower, but it pushes you to be better driver. Oh. It's such a different way of driving cars in a sim. In a world where we're so spoilt for choice, I can't see people not choosing this over something like GT7, especially GT7. This is more fun than GT7. Oh. So let me let me understand this more. I've got to try and work out how to drive this car. Interesting. So if you hit ABS, that's not necessarily a bad thing. Let it carry you. Be more aggressive on your brake pedal. Therefore, you can hold it longer, get these better exits, brake later. Right. I understand now. I do. I do understand. Now we are not... The position doesn't really matter. Yeah, right, right. So that's just how you drive. I was being too subtle. I was doing too much trail braking. But it's more aggressiveness on that brake pedal, guys. So keep that in mind. That's how you drive these cars. He's alongside me, I think. But the oversteer feels really okay to correct. With simulation steering, I'm not entirely sure how to turn that on. I'm holding P12 no matter what. I'll push him to the outside. And that is interesting that the fact that AI realized that I was doing that. So yeah, more, more all of a sudden on that brake pedal, which is very interesting, I must say. Very interesting. That's okay, though. It's interesting in a very, the best way, I think. So just as we watch my second race I did in this video, I just want to actually talk about the game. Because um, when I was driving it, I think some things I said made sense in my head but didn't come out right, I think is the way to say it. So... First impressions, I felt, like I said, Shane Van Gisberg, it felt like there was play in the mid, the, the early stages of the wheel turning. Um, that's obviously something I'm sure you phase out a little bit with, with steering angle, I think is what I was thinking. But to be honest, I don't, really don't know. Um, the game, when I first played, I was like, wow, this feels much better than anticipated. Force feedback felt good. There wasn't really, like the game is better than expected. Don't get me wrong. The game is 10 times better than I expected, uh, to say the least, uh, overall. Now, I, I did do two races. I played for about an hour because I'm on a very, very tight schedule. So if you guys want to see more, possibly two to five hours of uh, um, Forza Motorsport, make sure to meet me around 12 o'clock to 1 o'clock later today, uh, and I'll be streaming it live on this YouTube channel, and we're going to have a bit of fun um, trying out the game. Uh, it's going to be really, really cool. Um, but another thing I noticed was the brake pedal doesn't really make a lot of sense. Hitting the ABS and holding the ABS in theory should slow you down. Um, that doesn't really seem the case. But that's just something they're going to phase out a little bit more with perhaps gradual braking. The way it said, which I did not actually specifically try, was brake before the corner, 
very early, lift through the corner and power out of the corner. That does kind of make sense with the physics they've got, but look, I'll have to give it a try. And once again, we'll be trying all these things later on in today's live stream. Now, sorry about this race. It's very, very bad. Uh, <laughs> a, yeah, absolutely horrendous race from here. At, uh, actually, can't remember. Is it Magello? <laughs> I can't quite remember. Um, but yeah, another thing I will notice um, is that on a single screen, you do not get a rear view mirror. If you have triple screens, you have, I mean, with, you have, with, on a single screen, you have to change FOV to get a mirror. On triples, your stock FOV is really, like, perfect, okay? So I'm always going to be playing some racing games on triples. That's just how I get more immersion for myself. Um, and I have to say that, yeah, it was really good on triples, but I was noticing last night on Rory Alexander's stream on a single screen, and what you guys can see from the video, you have no idea where the other cars are. You've got to be looking in your mirrors on your triple screens, all right? So... That's very interesting. Um, would I say go buy it at triple screens or try and find some at a garage sale, which is what I've generally done um, to try and get cheap triple set up uh, just for Forza Motorsport? Nope, uh, definitely not. I think that's not something you should necessarily do. But do keep in mind, triples, guys, yep. Yeah. Um, it's, it's, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. But to start off with, it is a problem. It was very squished. It was very stretched. I have to look up why is my Forza Motorsport squished. And don't worry, we, we discovered that it was just a known fault. The game hasn't been recognizing triples or widescreen monitors. Uh, and that was obviously noticed very early on, um, today. Uh, I am a little bit late to posting this video as I just ended up playing for way too long and editing for way too long. I cut out lots of bits just to try and make this editing process a little bit faster just to make sure I can get a video out for you guys and just to make sure you guys all know that I'll be live later today and we're going to be playing this game a lot more. Um, the brake pedal and acceleration feel very interesting. Simulation steering, um, as much as some people were saying they didn't really notice a massive difference, I certainly did, especially with my direct drive wheel, um, that you were snapping and finding that correction when you're getting a bit of oversteer, which is genuinely very, very common, especially in the Mustang that we've been driving. Um, it's much faster co to correct. It's pretty good. Uh, generally, uh, simulation steering, I would recommend it. Um, catching oversteer feel simpl simplified, I think is the word I'm trying to find, without the simulation steering. But with the simulation steering, it felt quite a lot better. Um, look, I'm going to work it out overall. So far, I give this game a solid 7.5 out of 10 on launch. Generally, ab above 5 on launch for me has always been quite a successful launch. This game will just get creep closer and closer to 10. I haven't tried multiplayer. I haven't done lots more of the game. But look, I've got to go take care of a puppy. And I've got some stuff to do in the midday. So I'll see you guys later on in the afternoon, early afternoon. And thanks for watching. Come back next time for more. I'll see you then. Goodbye. Searching for greatness in a sea of the dying and shameless, uh, a sea of the aimless. I don't want to be one of the nameless. I'ma wake up with the mindset that one day I'm going to make it. And I don't think I'll be fine if I don't break my limitations. Don't try to stop me. I exist to write my own story. I'll make a decision if I want some peace or if I want the glory.